Since constructing tall buildings costs a lot of money and labour, their demolition is not a very pleasant sight to witness, particularly in large, densely populated cities. So today, we will look at some of the tallest buildings being demolished around the world. Let's not waste much more time and get right down to business. Number 8 on our list is India's Noida Twin Towers. The tower was located in Noida on the outskirts of New Delhi. The Twin Towers were 100 metres tall. However, the nation's highest court ruled that they were illegal after they were built because they broke building and fire safety laws. Before the towers were demolished, scaffolding, fences, barricades and special covers were placed around them to prevent dust from being produced from the anticipated 88,000 tonnes of debris that would be produced. More than 1,500 families left the area's flats before the 100-metre, 328-foot tower collapsed due to the implosion's force. The towers were completely destroyed in a matter of seconds. The Twin Towers were brought down by 3,500 kilograms, 7,716 pounds of explosives. It was recorded as the country's largest demolition. Number 7 is the Singer Building. The Singer Building, which had 47 storeys and a height of 187 metres, was the highest building ever to be willingly dismantled for 50 years, until 2021. It was the tallest building in the world between 1908 and 1909, coming in second only to the Eiffel Tower in height. The Singer Corporation sold the structure at the start of the 1960s. One of its shortcomings was that the stairway and elevator took up a significant portion of the tower. After a series of owners, US Steel purchased it in 1967 and demolished it to build another structure. The AIA Guide to New York City referred to the demolition as the city's worst loss since Penn Station. One Liberty Plaza, a 226-metre tall, 54-storey skyscraper, was later built in the same location. Number 6 on the list is Unong Village in Shenzhen. In 2005, Unon Village saw the fall of 16 structures totaling a massive 57,000 square feet, surpassing the previous record holder by more than 25%. Local authorities had ongoing problems with ventilation and lighting in the village. Thus, Shenzhen wanted to create a modern and beautiful facade. Therefore, later in 2005, the government authorities planned to destroy these buildings using explosions. 1,500 pounds of dynamite were used to rig the 16 structures. The 16 buildings were destroyed in front of thousands of spectators. Number 5 is the Eighth Tower in Frankfurt, Germany. For more than 40 years, the Johann Wolfgang Goethe University's administrative offices and lecture rooms were housed in the 38-storey Eiffel Tower. The building was widely despised for its odd, inefficient design and challenges getting from one floor to another. The 50,000-ton structure was brought down using 950 kilograms of explosives along with the preventative safety measures like 6.5-metre-high barriers, water tanks and a 250-metre exclusion zone. 10,000 spectators saw the destruction of this enormous structure. Number 4 on our list is the Bank of Lisbon. The bank had 22 storeys and was 108 metres tall. After conducting a structural examination of the structure after it caught fire and was severely damaged, the Gauteng provincial government decided to implode it. Approximately 2,000 people were evacuated from surrounding buildings before the explosion. The Bank of Lisbon will be replaced by a brand new structure. Additionally, it will contain provincial government offices. Number 3 on the list is the Jian Gangjiang Bridge. Although it is not a building, its demolition was just epic. The bridge, with a length of 1,577 metres 5 feet, became operational in December 1995. However, the structure suffered irreparable deterioration as a result of an increase in the number of overweight vehicles using the bridge over the years. Years of improvements and repairs were unsuccessful in repairing the bridge's deterioration. After several delays, it was ultimately decided to destroy the bridge. There were numerous tons of explosives attached to the 61 piers and the four main columns of the bridge. After the explosion, the building instantly vanished into the waters of the Gan River. Following demolition, a new bridge with a span of 2,211 metres 7,253 feet, six lanes and access for non-motorised vehicles is to be constructed. Number two on the list is the demolition of the Munmora Power Station boilers. 
Using controlled explosive demolition techniques, two of the boilers at Manmora Power Station were destroyed in May 2017. The boilers were the biggest ones to be destroyed in Australia thus far. Using an engineering-induced collapse approach, the 60-metre-high, 23,000-tonne boiler house was destroyed. This is one of the smoothest demolition methods used today. Number one and final on our list is the famous Mina Plaza in Abu Dhabi. Modon Properties owned the Mina Plaza building, which is 540 feet, 165 meters tall. It crashed to the ground in November 2020. This building's implosion took place over the course of 10 seconds, with intervals of 0.25 seconds. During the destruction, a 3,600 foot, 1,100 meter radius was cordoned off for safety reasons. This no-go area lessened the risk of flying debris. A sizeable commercial tourist area will be built in the future, where the tower blocks once stood. Which one of these demolitions do you like most? Please share with us in the comments area below.